Oh, what do you think? Pretty snazzy, huh? Uh, uh, why? Why not? Oh, you know what I mean. Oh, it's Harold's idea. You know, blondes have more fun, that kind of thing. Not in this neighborhood, honey. I was only kidding. Actually, he just thought it'd be a good idea if I tried to disguise myself a little bit. You know, in case that phone call was from Ronnie or Lance. Oh, I do hope that phone call was a mistake. Do you think it'll work? Well, I fooled you, didn't I? Well... Oh, come on, admit it. Miriam and I could be twins. <laughs> I'm not born of the same mother. Well, why would you want to look like Miriam? Well, I don't know. Maybe so, uh, some of her class would rub off on me. Oh. Anyway, the dress fits pretty good, don't you think? Mm, not bad. Mom! What are we gonna eat? I'm starved. Mm. Gene! What? Well, what do you think? Well, Halloween's not for a few days yet. I tell you, I am so sick of being the victim of other people's immaturity. Where did that come from? Oh, Russ Weaver is flexing his administrative muscles again. And uh, you were in his way again as usual, I take it? Boy, am I. <laughs> you know, I could almost understand it if it were just a case of inexperience. But there is a real meanness about him. In fact, I am beginning to resent that I've got to waste all my energy fighting him. I hate coming home every night feeling like a zombie. It's all so needless. Boy, it's hard to believe that he's the same person that was engaged to Lori. Which makes me all the happier that their relationship ended. Mm -hmm. Only now one of Lori's friends, Marianne Prescott, is dating him. Oh, that reminds me. From Jason. Oh! Hmm. No, I don't think so. Sure it is. His name's right on it. No, I mean, I just don't think that I'm up to handling this today. He's another immature male who's... Oh, Lord, forgive me. I'm tired. I thought that uh, you and Jason had an understanding. Maybe he wants to get back together. Well, I'm not going to give him that chance. Oh, saved by the bell. Except the letter will still be there when you get off the phone. Not if you're a good friend, it won't. Hmm. Hello? Hey, good looking. Ben! I don't suppose you're in the mood for some more good news. What's that crack supposed to mean? I was only kidding. Yeah, I'll bet. Halloween, Mike. Oh, that's foot. enough for you two. I won't have you arguing over something as silly as this. What are you going as this year? Huh, as if you needed a, a costume. All right, all right. Look, I'm really sorry, Babs. Honestly. Now, besides, you know, you see, my mother there, she never would let me go out Halloween night anyway. That's for sure. Are you serious? Is she serious? When I was a kid growing up in my neighborhood, I was the laughing stock on the block. Oh, you were not. There were lots of parents who felt the same as I did. Celebrating ghosts and witches. Some idea. <laughs> oh, I'm crazy, am I? Well, as long as God is the head in this house, there'll be no celebrating of Satan holidays. Now, let's drop the subject, and I'm through dignifying that discussion. Mm hmm Bab, tell me something. What, what's all this get up for, anyway? Well, Harold thought it'd be a good idea to, you know, kind of disguise me a little bit so I wouldn't be such an easy target. An easy target for what? It's kind of a long story. Well, try me. Well, you know my former profession. Yeah. Well, there's this guy, see, and, uh, well, he's trying to track me down. Are you talking about the guy that dumped you in front of Leon's diner? Your pimp? Ex-pimp. All right, yeah, I'm sorry. Actually, it was uh, Lance, Ronnie's stooge. And they traced you here? <sighs> Afraid so. We're not sure, but, um... But we're not taking any chances. I see. 
Anyway, so all this is to uh, try and throw him off the track. I was overdue for an image change anyway. <laughs> you fooled me at the first glance. Let's just hope that's all Ronnie gives me. So I'll throw him off the track. Mm. Really, Gene, what do you think? Oh, well, I do say that there is a resemblance there, Miriam, if that's what you're after. And if you're lucky in this thing, who knows, you may even get old Charles Carpenter to adopt you. <laughs> <laughs> well, I wish you were a little more enthusiastic about Lori's progress. I'm sorry. I do think that her speaking now in full sentences is good. I just wish that she'd confront what happened that night. Well, I'm interpreting it as a uh, step forward. I don't care how small it seems to others. No, you're right. I guess with the mood I'm in right now, all I can see is the negative side of things. I'm sorry, Ben. You still want me to come up this weekend? If you don't, I'll personally drive back to Kingsley and drag you up here. <laughs> well, maybe I'll let you do that. But before you can get to me, I'm going to have Jack Egan kidnap you and take a look at that hand of yours. Uh, oh, you never give up, do you? Nope. Soon, I promise. Uh, it's doing okay, really. See? It's so I keep hearing. Well, that's, um, that's about all the news at this end. Well, give my love to Lori. I will. Okay. Bye-bye. Right. Bye. Lori's talking now? Yeah, well, just about things like the food and the weather. She's avoiding the real problem. Hmm. Just like her mother. You want me to leave? No. No, I mean, it's all right. I'd rather you were here. I knew it was going to be like this. Listen, I can't help but think that if our timing had been just a little different, things might not have ended like they did. <laughs> timing? He's, he's trying to absolve himself of all responsibility. He's doing exactly what I thought he would do. He is trying to get me back into his life again. And Liz, I just don't want to. I can't handle it. Terry, are you sure that you don't have any similar feelings? No. I'm glad that I ended it the way I did. Believe me. I mean, I admit, there were times when I had second thoughts. But no, I don't have them anymore. Really. Mom, would you stop? Yes, I would if you would just give me one reason why you think you're not going to get that job. Okay. One. I have very limited experience in print journalism, and even that was back in college. Oh. Two, two, I know for a fact that he has a stack of applications in his office that thick, Mom, and 80% of those people probably have five years of experience in newspaper. And three, TV journalism doesn't mean diddly to a man like McGovern, and he's right. Four. Hush, Jane, oh. I only asked you for one. Hi. <laughs> Maybe I should go back out to the car and get my boxing gloves. Oh, no, honey. I was just trying to press upon Jane that faith can overcome any circumstances. Oh, brother. All right, all right. I know when to call it quits. Since when? Now, don't you be disrespectful to your mother. Perish the thought. Gosh. I own is there any other mail other than this? Oh, no, honey. I'm sorry. Oh, well. Oh, well, now, don't you fret none, honey. Frederick will be writing you any day now. Yeah, guess so. Well, you know, we have to be realistic about these things. After all, I wrote my son over a month ago. Even the post office isn't that slow. He's obviously decided not to respond to my letter. Oh, well, now, honey, he's probably trying to work up as much courage as you had to try to work up in order to write him. Sure. Yeah. Oh, now, you mustn't lose hope, honey. Oh, well, now I just put my hope in different things. Like what? Like even a letter that would say, I never want to see you again. Mary. Well, I own, at least it would, it would stop this awful waiting, and I'd know where I stand, and I could get on with my life. Oh, I tell you, living with all this unbelief, it's more than a body can stand, enough to make you go crazy. Now, I don't know what you think, but I want to hear a little more positive confessions from the two of you. Are you listening? You know I never listen to you, Mom. Well, isn't that the truth? Pretty girl. <laughs> oh, God, help us. Perhaps. <laughs> Kingsley's version of Phyllis Diller. 
Shut up. You're just jealous. This is incredible. Now tell me, Miss Carpenter, what does it feel like to be a twin? Oh, well, frankly, I have no problem with it myself. Of course, I am the pretty one. Oh, you wish. <laughs> tell me, what do you think? Do I look that bad? Mm-hmm. Well, thanks a lot. Hey, yeah, wait a minute. <laughs> what kind of hit me on the way home from work today? Oh, were there any survivors? I had an even better idea just a few minutes ago. Oh, 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 wow. Two in one day. Wow, how could I hope for that? <laughs> Why don't the three of us become the Carpenter triplets? I don't suppose it's of interest to anybody in here, but dinner is ready. I suppose that might be a wonderful idea, I own. Come on, admit it, Jane. You always wanted to be a blonde. <laughs> Nut. Get out of here. <laughs> Nurse says that Dr. Greeley would be here in only five minutes? Yes, but you know how that works. Right. Mother, I'm really sorry that you're not going to be coming to dinner with us tonight. We always have a good time at the Redlands. You think maybe tomorrow? Well, I, I think that's very short notice. It's, it's hardly fair to Mrs. Redland. Oh, no, no, are you kidding? You wouldn't believe how she can throw things together with about ten minutes notice. Please, it, it would really mean so much to me. I'm afraid I can't. Why? Well, I, I don't think I'll have enough time. I, uh, uh, I, you know, I told you I was going to see a lawyer. Well, I did. You want to see Harold? Oh, no, heavens. His name is Mel Fleischman. He's going to handle the divorce for me and some other matters. Then you're determined to go through with this thing. Oh, Mary, for all intents and purposes, your father and I are already divorced. This action is merely a formality. You don't know how much I wish that we could be a family with the kind of faith that I've found. Mother, everything would be so much different, I know. Oh, Mary, for you, yes. But not for me or your father. Miriam, he hasn't changed. And there's been so much hurt between us. A possibility of reconciliation is out of the question. I guess not unlike Paul and me. See, I've entertained thoughts of reconciliation, too, but deep inside, I... I know that it can never be. I'm also having the power of attorney I signed over to your father revoked. There's no way that I can regain any of the assets he took from me. I'm instigating a suit for half of his assets. Well, it's no more than he deserves, I guess. Mm -hmm. A lot less, in my opinion. Oh, I'm also straightening out the deed to the house. My goodness, I understand what you're saying about not having enough time to do everything. Oh, Mary. I want to leave behind me this place and its hurtful memories as soon as possible. I'm leaving for Canada immediately. Mother. I'm sorry I'm late, ladies. Forgive me. That's all right, Dr. Reed. Uh, I'm not interrupting anything, am I? No, no. Everything's well, I fine. Just wanted to let you know that uh, we'd be doing the cardiac catheterization tomorrow on Charles. Uh, as I told you already, it, that will enable us to determine exactly where the blockage on Charles's heart is. Then the surgery will follow soon after? Possibly. We'll know better as soon as we see the angiogram. Now, what I need from you now, Mrs. Carpenter, is your signature on these permission forms. Uh, now, now isn't this something that Miriam can do? Yes, but as the next of kin, we I'm need you to... I'm very soon to be his ex-wife. I think it would be much more appropriate if Miriam handled it. Well, all right, I'll, um... I'll get some more forms typed up. Thank you. Uh, could we possibly see him now? Yes. Yes, of course. Miriam, you can just stop by the desk on your way out and sign the new forms. Certainly I will. Come along, dear. The Lawson broad came by the office this afternoon. Don't use that word, broad. Babs is so vulgar. Yeah, she certainly is. Anyway, she came by and gave Harold you-know-what. You-know-what? Uh, uh, yeah. Never mind, never mind. Yeah, right. Anyway, she came by to talk about that house that she owns half of. Are you listening, Jean? Yeah, mine and Carla's uh, dream house. Go ahead, go ahead. Well, I wasn't supposed to be listening, but uh, <laughs> I couldn't resist. See, is, is uh, Harold Webster Nancy Lawson's attorney? Well, yeah, kind of. Not by choice. 
Anyway, you see, she only owns half of that house. Mm. And unless she can buy out the Davidson Dane... Uh, Mrs. Davidson. Oh, Mrs. Davidson, yeah. And, or unless Mrs. Davidson buys her out, well, then they both have to sell it to somebody else. Really? Did you hear that, Jean? Jean! Yes, Mom, I heard. Uh, what, did either one of them decide to do it? Mom! Well, it's only for your best interest. You're jumping to conclusions again, as usual. Now, tell me, is Nancy living in the house? Yeah. Okay, so there you go. Now, Carl and I were evicted out of that crazy place, and so now Nancy's living there, so what else is new? Hey, Ben, that's great. You know, I think things are going to be back to normal in no time at all. No, I agree. Every day it gets a little easier. Now, when do you want me to make an appointment for uh, Jack Egan to see you? <laughs> oh, you and Terry are both alike. Yeah. Yeah, we are, aren't we? I'm sorry, Alex. Uh, that was an unfortunate choice of words. Hey, look, no big deal. Still a closed door, I take it? Closed, locked, bolted, and chained. Hey, look, look, now, if this is your way of getting me not to talk about your hand, <laughs> it's just not going to work. No, it isn't, I promise. But before you yell at me, though, um, I just want you to know you've got a willing listener anytime you want to talk. Hey, thanks, Ben. I I'm not going to yell at you. Look, I've been doing some reading on ulma nerve damage. Yeah? Well, it never hurts to just brush up on uh, weak areas, right? No, I guess not. Just give it to me straight, Alex. Ben, I'm wondering how much use you're going to have of that hand. Even under the very best of conditions, regaining more than 70% uh, mobility is unusual. And I certainly haven't been providing the best of conditions, right? I didn't say that. Well, I'm saying it. Look, I don't know what to tell you, Alex. I'm fully aware of the possible prognosis, but right now, Lori's recovery is the only thing that's important to me. Dr. Hart to medical records. Dr. Hart to medical records. Now you understand my decision. Mother, well, considering Daddy's condition, what this, his condition has nothing to do with it. Oh, Mary, your father detests me. That was obvious from the first visit I made to him. And now you've seen for yourself. I understand what you're saying is true. So when do you plan on going back? Tomorrow morning. I'll miss you. Oh, Mary, please try and understand. If I wish I could go into that room with just a little feeling of compassion. But all I see there is a man who has gotten what he richly deserves. When I compare that to the way I used to feel about him, it sickens me. If the break has to be complete and clean if I'm to retain my sanity. I can understand that. I can. But what about me? I happen to be here, too. Mary, you're the reason I've stayed so long. But not enough to stay longer? It might be. If you were anything less. I don't understand. Mary, you have changed into a loving, capable young woman. I'm proud to call my daughter. You've found a new life for yourself here. You don't need me to clutter it up for you. But maybe I don't see it that way. Oh, not now, perhaps. No, not ever. Oh, Miriam, I have to do what I think is right. And only hope that you'll understand. Please try. it isn't. At least turn it down then. Thank you. Hey, can we call Dad now that we're home? Some home? 
Might as well be Lake Tahoe. Can we? I want to tell him that we're back. Wouldn't you like some dinner first? I thought that's what we had on the plane. That's not what I'd call it. Hey, I got a better idea. Let's not call. Let's just go over to Grandma's. Jimmy, we haven't even finished unpacking yet. Well, we might not have to if we go over there first. Uh... Let's talk. Mm, boy, here it comes. Oh, come on now. Give me a chance. All right. Tell me one thing first. Okay. Why did we come back if you don't want to get in touch with him? Of course, I want to get in touch with him, baby. When? Soon. Very soon. But I need a little time to collect myself first. What about me? I know you've missed them. All right. Give him a call. Thanks. We've made a new beginning these past few days. And believe me, I would never be foolish enough to throw it away. But how can we... Oh, Mary, Canada isn't that far away. It'll be made much easier by two modern inventions. Have you ever heard of the airplane or the telephone? <laughs> yes, I have. <laughs> it won't be the same, though. No. No, not quite. But it'll be much better than anything we've ever had in the past, won't it? It will. There now. So we will go bravely on to another life. You to one you found through faith. And me to one I found in another place.